Salut tout le monde. Bienvenue à Isms by Josie. Aujourd'hui sur Worldly Josie Isms, nous voyageons à Paris. J'apprends à parler français avec Duolingo. Clique sur le bouton j'aime. Comment si dessous où je devrais aller ensuite? Profitez de cette vidéo. Paris is the capital and largest city of France with an official estimated population of 2,102,650 residents in January 2023 in an area of more than 105 kilometers squared. Paris is the fourth largest city in the European Union and the 30th most densely populated city in the world in 2022. Since the 17th century, Paris has been one of the world's major centers of finance, diplomacy, commerce, culture, fashion, and gastronomy for its leading role in the arts and sciences as well as its early and extensive system of street lighting in the 19th century it became known as the city of light the flag of paris is vertically divided between the traditional colors of paris blue and red both of which also feature in the city's coat of arms red is identified with saint denis Blue with St. Martin. It was adopted March 24, 1945. The colors of Paris are the origin of the blue and red stripes of the flag of France, while the white stripe originally symbolized the monarchy. The French flag's colors were adopted as a cockade during the early stages of the French Revolution when the country was still in process of becoming a constitutional monarchy. Now for this next nail, I always thought it would be cool to say cheers in a different language. So here I am writing down santi, which is cheers in French. So as you grab your drink in a gathering, raise your glass and say santi. How do you say cheers?
Pastis is an anise-flavored spirit and aperitif traditionally from France, typically containing less than 100 grams per liter of sugar and 40 to 45 percent ABV alcohol by volume. Pastis was the first commercialized by Paul Ricard in 1932 and enjoys substantial popularity in France, especially in the southeastern region of the country, mostly Marseille, in the VAR department. Pastis emerged from some 17 years after the ban of absinthe, during a time when the French nation was still apprehensive of high-proof anise drinks in the wake of absinthe debacle. The popularity of pastis may be attributable to the penchant for anise drinks that was cultivated by absinthe decades earlier, but also part of an old tradition of Mediterranean anise liquors that include Sambuca, Uzo, Arak, Raki, and Mastica. The name pastis may be derived from the Arakan pastis, a mashed up or blend or French pastiche, a stylistic imitation. Pastis is normally diluted with water before drinking, generally five volumes of water for one volume of pastis, but often neat pastis is served together with a jug of water for the drinker to blend together according to preference. The resulting decrease in alcohol percentage causes some of the constituents to become insoluble, which changes the liquor's appearance from dark transparent yellow to milky soft yellow, a phenomenon also present with absinthe and known as luge or the ouzo effect. The drink is consumed cold and considered a refreshment for hot days. Ice cubes can be added. Many pastis drinkers decline to add ice, preferring to drink the beverage with cool spring water. Although consumed throughout France, pastis is generally associated with southeastern regions of the country, particularly in the city of Marseille, where it is nicknamed pastaga, and with such cliches of provincial lifestyle as pentanique. 130 million liters are sold each year. I will leave a link for our recipe in the description box below. What is your country's traditional drink? pot au feu is a French dish of slowly boiled meat and vegetables, usually served as two courses, first the broth and then the meat and vegetables. The dish is familiar throughout France and has many regional variations. The best known have beef as the main meat, but pork, chicken, and sausage are also used. The main ingredient in most versions of pot au feu is meat. Many recipes specify more than one cut of beef to give both the broth and the cooked meat the required flavor and consistency. Some recipes add a marrow bone to give marrow to spread on the bread serve with the broth. Some recipes add ox liver to improve clarity of the broth. 
Generally, the broth is served first. It is often enriched with rice or pasta, and croutons and grated cheese may be added before it is served with French bread. The meat and the vegetables are served next. Condiments may include, among other options, coarse salt, mustard, capers, pickled jerkins, pickled samphire, and horseradish grated in or in a sauce. Sauces served with the meat may include tomato sauce, sauce alsacian, hard-boiled egg mayonnaise with herbs, capers, and some of the bouillon, sauce ninette, cream reduced by simmering and flavoring with mustard and tomato, or sauce supreme, evolute made with some of the bouillon and enriched cream. pot au feu broth may also be used for cooking vegetables or pasta, Ready to use concentrated cubes are available to make what purports to be pot au feu broth when water is added. I will leave a link for a recipe in the description box below. What is your country's traditional dish? The Louvre or the Louvre Museum is a national art museum in Paris, France and one of the most famous museums in the world. It is located on the right bank of the Seine in the city's first arrondissement district or ward and home of some of the most canonical works of Western art including the Mona Lisa, Venus de Milo, and Winged Victory. The museum is housed in the Louvre Palace originally built in the late 12th to 13th century under Philip II. Remnants of the medieval Louvre fortress are visible in the basement of the museum. Due to urban expansion, the fortress eventually lost its defensive function, and in 1546, Francis I converted it into the primary residence of the French kings. The Louvre has been designed by many architects over the years, including Renaissance, Baroque, and modern architects. Pierre Lescott, in 1546, King Francois I commissioned him a French Renaissance architect to transform the Louvre from a fortress into a palace. Lescott worked include Square Court and Lescott Wing in the Salle de Caritides and Grand Hall with ceiling sculpted by Jean Goujon. Claude Perrault, along with Louis Laveau, Charles Lebrun, and Francois Diorbe. Perrault, a French physician and amateur architect, designed the eastern facade of the Louvre in Baroque style. I am Pei, in 1983, French President Francois Mitterrand appointed Pei, a Chinese-American architect, to design the Grand Louvre project. Pei's design includes central underground lobby in a monumental entrance in the form of a glass pyramid. The pyramid was completed in 1989. There is so much more about the Louvre that you should check out. What is your country's popular architecture? And here is my finished set, Paris inspired. Thank you so much for joining me on my voyage to Paris today. I hope I was able to teach you some of the things I've learned based on my studies. And here is the flag of Paris. Really a lot different from the country flag of Paris. And here is how they say cheers in um, Paris, Santi. I use the red and blue rhinestones too. It looks so pretty.
And here is my pastis whiskey sour. I have a recipe for it in the description box below. And then here is my classic pot au feu, which is also in the description box below. And then last but not least is the Louvre. And this is by far my favorite now. Looks exactly like likeness of the Louvre. So thank you for joining me on Worldly Josieisms. Let me know where I should go next in my travels. This is Isms by Josie. Please share, like, and subscribe for future videos. And join me again, you guys. I'm going to see you at my live at 5 next week. This week I have my mom in town, so I'll be doing stuff with her. But Saturday we have Night at the Improv. I'll see you again next time. Thanks. Bye.